The work energy theorem. This is a theorem that states the net work on an object causes a change in the kinetic energy of the object. So let's review kinetic energy. Remember, kinetic energy, which we'll abbreviate KE, is one half the mass times the velocity squared. Okay? So the net work is the change in kinetic energy or the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. Let's look at a problem where you might be asked to use the work energy theorem to solve a problem related to net work. Okay? Let's say I've got <clears throat> an object, three, a mass of three kilogram object, and I need to accelerate it from two meters per second to four meters per second. And I want to know what the net work is needed to cause that acceleration. Okay? So I can use this formula where net work equals my final kinetic energy minus my initial kinetic energy. Let's go ahead and solve for that problem. All right? So my final kinetic energy is 1 half, and my mass is 3 kilograms, and my final velocity is 4 meters per second squared. All right? My initial velocity is, I'm sorry, my initial kinetic energy is 3 kilograms times 2 meters per second squared. All right? So let's go ahead and crunch these numbers. And, oops, got to have my 1 half times that. Let's fix that before we move on. So I've got 4 squared is 16 times 3 is 48. And 1 half of 48 is 24 kilograms over meters per second squared. And I'm going to subtract from that. I've got 2 squared is 4 meters per second squared, and times 3 is 12, and minus um, 1 half of 12 is 6 kilograms. And if I subtract 6, uh, six from 24, I get 18, And this also equals, this unit here, kilograms over meters over second squared equals 18 joules of energy. So that is my net work that is required to accelerate that object from 2 meters per second to 4 meters per second. So this is how you might solve a problem applying the theorem, the work energy theorem.